Oh my gosh, and he went right in there. It's pretty gross. Ugh, he exploded completely. <laughs> Just beautiful. Just outside Pocatello. I did manage to cross Utah state line today. Now, next big city is uh, Salt Lake City, and that's another oh, 80 something. In miles up to Salt Lake City. All right, guys, we have a problem. I just hit the buried. What kind of a bird it is? Let's see here. Oh my gosh! And he went right in there. Pretty gross. Ugh, he exploded completely. Just gotta clean that up. I'm back on the interstate. It was it took me a while to clean up all that mess. All those guts all over the windscreen. Luckily, nothing cracked. That's a pretty strong wing screen, I gotta say. Hitting the bird at 80 miles per hour, or maybe just slightly over, and nothing really happened. Let's hope no more mishap like that. Never hit anything with a bike except for a couple chipmunks or prairie dogs, is what I call them this way. Five o'clock, and it is uh, 26 degrees Celsius still. Still quite warm. Never fails uh, when I'm heading this way. Uh, I think I had uh, two years ago. We had rain uh, just before Utah border, but other than that, every time we're coming here, it's like scorching heat. And other than that, uh, I'm enjoying the ride. Oh, another bird right above me, gotta watch those suckers now. This one came out of nowhere, out of the ditch. And I think he was just taking off. I think I gotta push it a little bit longer today. Because uh, once the sun hit, goes down, it will cool off. I definitely want to get past Salt Lake City and Provo. And get on that road that heads to Moab. Not sure how far I will get. If I will get to Moab, that would be great. If not, well, I'll be looking for some campsite somewhere along that route. Hopefully there is something available. It's uh, not a uh, season right now. It's still early. It's still May. I am in Salt Lake City. Just past Ogden. I may have to take it all the way to Moab. And it is 6... 15 right now 
and I still have 248 miles to go. So it is doable, except I would arrive quite late, quite late and tired as hell, because uh, we have been out on this that wind all day. Good thing is here there is not much wind at all. It's uh, just a drift, whatever it's uh, you're hearing, but it's not windy. Hoping there's not going to be too much traffic also here in Salt Lake City. Robert was saying that there's uh, extra traffic usually, but I never run into major traffic in Salt Lake City. Unless today people are coming back home from the weekend and that is a Mother's Day as well. What kind of an Amazon truck is that? I've never seen it like this. They just put a container inside it? Unless it's electric. Yeah, it's a Riven. A Riven. That's electric. Jeff Bezos has money. Trying to save the world. <laughs> Yeah, for stuff like that, electric cars are okay. If deliveries here in, in the city and around, that's no problem. But if it comes for making all the people get one and own one and be limited to the mileage that you can do, that sucks. I wouldn't ever go for that. At least until they're gonna start doing like over a thousand kilometers on the tank or at least close to a thousand. And then charge quicker because uh, you don't want to sit at charging station forever. That's another thing. Honest saying, I wouldn't mind to live here in Salt Lake City. It's a very similar city to Calgary, except it's further south, so obviously it's warmer. I'm not sure uh, the winter probably it's not crazy with the snow. There, definitely there is snow, but not as cold as it gets in uh, Calgary in Canada that would be just an ideal place to live maybe I should think about it my wife is American so it is possible if somebody would give me a good job offer I'll pack Canada in a blink of an eye I have enough of this crap that goes on in there right now and I don't have a faith that anything will change even if the new prime minister would get elected Pierre Poliev. I don't think that's nothing that's gonna change really. A few things that he has to do but they always talk a lot not enough action you know how that goes and I hope for you guys here down in states that Trump is gonna win the next election election. He's the only hope pretty much for the whole world all the refineries out here there's quite a few of them if I remember so in theory the gas should be dirt cheap out here now, oh yeah there is another refinery there is the Salt Lake City downtown I think it's downtown such a big city spread out and if it is a downtown that's not too big Sitting on Highway 6, US State Highway. No more interstate for a while. I think I gotta fill up one more time. There should be a gas station somewhere around here. Maybe grab a coffee and water. So I just got out of Salt Lake City and I am on US State Highway 6 heading towards Price 
and I think that's where I will call it a day at uh, Price Canyon recreational site that's the goal hopefully it's accessible I got about uh, 46 miles to go to that location so hopefully in about an hour I should be able to get there and right here the nice scenery begins as long as there is no animals like uh, I had on the first day the amount of deers that I encountered in the evening was just unbelievable it's 24 degrees but I think it's gonna start cooling off uh, pretty soon as the Sun will go down it's uh, cooling off pretty quickly here in the desert this is a beautiful stretch of a road with variety of sceneries my butt is getting sore today that's for sure it's a full day in the saddle I'm not even sure how many kilometers I did I, it's gonna be uh, probably close to a thousand we won't have those golden colors like I was going through here last time because uh, the last time I was going going here th uh, in a midday so it's all beautiful and I see the snow at the top that's not a good sign hopefully not in that canyon I think I was in that canyon before uh, first time when we went to Utah Moab if that's the same place that I'm thinking So normally this is pretty busy during the day I see it's not as bad in the evening hours on this road and the cool shadows on the mountains the mountains behind me are covered with the snow and in front not so much a little bit on the side but overall all the snow is gone here the higher elevations it will stick around for quite some time wow that orange color looks spectacular and that little rock right on top there hanging on its own and there's a cave here too wow a huge one Wow, this is actually nicer than it was during the day with the sunset. It really brings out the color on the rock. Too bad it's so late already because I would stop and take some photos. Uh, it's not going to be fun to set up the tent in the dark. But it is what it is. And also I'm supposed to eat something. Because the only thing I ate was around noon a three piece chicken and two potato wedges and then two, two hours back I had a donut at the gas station well even if I don't eat it's okay it's good for the diet
like a half an hour left to the exit to Price Canyon. I'm just hoping that it's gonna be accessible, that's all. Because I think if that's the one, you have to climb up a big hill. Right here. That's the one. Oh, they paved it. No way. That's amazing. It looks like it was raining here because everything is wet. Last time when I was here it was all gravel. And that is the one that I was uh, hoping it is. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit wet, but it doesn't look like it. there was a lot of rain. Just a little bit. Oop, wow, big hole, holy moly. That's unpredictable. If the front tire would go there, I would wipe out. Because that was wide enough to fit the tire in. I might be all alone there, maybe possibly. That would be surprising if anybody is there. It says it's 2.2 miles still. Well, at least it's not gravel like it used to be. Because that could have been muddy. snow. I thought it's gonna be covered with the snow here at this height because we are pretty high up. I've been climbing here for uh, over two miles. Left or right? That's the question. Right beside the bathroom, in the worst case. 